okay so now okay so now what is the optimizer we have a so the important topics okay so how can we improve the performance the first thing is okay so try to use bind variables bind variables instead of hard coding values instead of hard coding values instead of hard coding the values and try to use the bind variables instead of hard coding the values next thing is okay so now create indexes create indexes on tables on table columns now third step is to make sure all statistics are up to date on the table are up to date on the table so we need to make sure statistics are up to date so what is the use of statistics what is the importance of the statistic who is going to use the statistics who is going to use the statistics who is going to use the statistics sir this is really really bad nobody is answering the class okay so the make sure all the statistics are up to date on the table so the important the optimizer optimizer generates the best execution plan execution plan so based on statistics stats okay if there is no stats on the table okay if there is no stats so the optimizer uses either cbo or rbo cbo or rbo so the cbo is based on the statistics this is the cbo is default optimizer optimizer default optimizer so in order to generate the best execution plan in order to generate the best execution plan we need to have a statistics on the table we need to have a statistics on the stats are required so that's why we need to make sure all the statistics are up to date on the table and now so use any query tuning tools query tuning tools so what are those tools we have so one is explain plan the simple one okay so auto trace on off auto trace on and then sql star trace trace under tkp rof and automatic tuning advisor advisor or automatic access advisor advisor so these are the so this is generally developer will have access these are the way so this is the steps we need to follow okay here is the tuning advisor or automatic x y advisor so based on the tuning advisor recommendation so the tuning advisor will give some recommendation i think i have already forwarded this some script of automatic tuning advisor so based on the tuning advisor recommendations recommendations so we can create materialized views use for a better performance materialized views and the second one the last one is we can influence 
we can influence or we can change behavior of a optimizer behavior of optimizer using using hints using hints. so the try to bind variables try to use the bind these are the steps we need to follow these are the steps so where do you specify the hints so hints specifies in the select statements in select statements okay so hints will be specified in the select statement so this we can giving a direction hint is nothing but a direction giving to a oracle saying that okay so this index is not using use this index now we have seen this and we have seen this we are going to see this one and we need to make sure all the statistics are up to date on the table we have to make sure all the statistics are up to date on the table so how can we generate the statistics how can we generate the statistics in the last class we discussed the name of the inbuilt package for generating the statistics what is that package what is the package Sir, Chadutuna Raslo, we are almost finished. DBMS underscore stats package. DBMS underscore stats package. We can, using this package, we can make sure the statistics are up to date. Using this package. Okay. So we can update the statistics. Stats at the table level or at the schema level or at the entire database level so the database level so we can see this one so this is the steps we are going to use all the stuff okay so for all these four i will provide a notes okay and for this one also i will provide a notes with how to use the syntax so a, syntax is a simple one here we will use the select select star from employee okay here we will use the Hint, hint like this see this is accessing a table with uh, the parallel hint so we're passing a hint parallel what is the meaning of the parallel parallel means emp table is accessed in a four threads parallelly instead of one process to get the data from employee table so the parallel thread it gets the data in a four ways so four simultaneously so the data performance is more so slowly in couple of days i will send all the notes on this one so if anybody asks you how can you tune the select statement you have to answer all these lines all these statements with the more detail one cbo and the rpo okay let's see we are going to see the indexes Okay, so indexes. What is an index? What is an index? What is an index? The database object associated to Oracle tables columns. We are going to create a tables columns columns so the index will be created with the columns index will be created with the columns so now so the index will improve improve so the data retrieval performance will improve the data retrieval performance performance so we can create any number of indexes any number of indexes on a single table but keep it in mind while creating the more number of tables more number of tape more number of indexes will impact DML performance on the table. 
So the more number of indexes. If we create a 10 or 100 or something indexes, so it creates a impact on DML performance. So DML performance will be less. So we cannot create as many number of as indexes on a table. Okay. So indexes will be created on tables so or columns. But what are the columns? So how can we decide columns for indexes? columns for indexes how can we decide the columns for any indexes columns so which are more frequently used in more frequently used in where class of select so the columns which are more frequently used in where class of a select are best for indexes. So we need to decide. So we cannot create indexes on every column. But we need to make sure the columns which are more frequently used in the where condition. So the columns which are more frequently Okay, once you created an index, so we have to use columns, indexed columns, columns in where condition. So then only we will get a good performance. See, you have an index on one column, but you are not using that index on the where class it's of no use using an index so indexes will improve how index whenever you create an index on a table so we have to use those columns the columns which are best for the indexes is the columns which are more frequently used in the where condition so whenever we create an index index on table Whenever you create index on a table column, okay. So Oracle internally creates index entries table. Index entries table, okay, which contains key ID, key ID, and address ID. Okay, column value. Let's make it as a key ID, column value, and address ID combination. It creates a which contains like this. Okay, which contains column value and address ID table kind of thing. For example, if you create index on example, so the address ID is mostly address ID is row ID. Address ID is a row ID. Row ID means so that row ID will give you the correct information of your row. Correct information of your row. So the example, if you create index on ename column, okay. If you create index on index on ename column, okay. So now what are the index column values we have? Scott. So A B C D is the row ID. Smith. A B C D two, A B C D two, Clark, A B C D three. So it create this A B C D one two three are called as a okay. So the row IDs. Okay, so index on e name column. So how it is going to use? So internally Oracle immediately creates an internal table called Scott A B C D one and Scott A B C D two and everything. So whenever you use the select star from employee where e name is equal to Scott. So how Oracle is going to execute it? So Oracle will check it. Is there any index on e name column or not? Is there any index on Oracle or not? Index on e name column. Okay. If yes. Okay. So then it go to index entries table 
how it is going to go to index entries table get address id for ename scott so if an index is there so then it goes to index entries table then get address id of the ename scott okay once you got an address id address id is nothing but a row id so then i go to that particular row directly particular row directly for getting complete row see here we are not checking the we are not checking other rows because we know the row id of the row where you want so this is the row id so you know the row id directly for getting that particular row so this is the way so this process is called as a index scan so this is okay if no if no okay so what will happen if there is no index on the sense so then oracle goes to every row every row and validates e name value with scott e name value with scott so it matches it returns all matched rows so this okay so this is the first so it goes to the index go if it is index is there and it goes to the index entries table and get the address id of that particular e name okay so if no then oracle goes to every row and validates e name value with the scott it returns all matched rows everybody is clear yes or no yes or no please this is the way how index is going to work okay so accessing a table with index are called as a index scan index scan access path the access path access path means how we are accessing a table access path means how we are accessing a table accessing table access path means how we are accessing a table so index scan and if there is no index that is called as a full table scan full table scan is almost it's not a good full table scan is not a good because it needs to verify each and every row full table scan and index scan these two are access path so we have to see in your execution plan how table <coughs> how tables are accessing if a table is accessing with a full table scan we can improve the performance by creating index on the table if a table is doing already index scan we can consider the other option so if a table is doing the full table scan we can improve the performance of your query by creating index on that table we cannot create index on every column we have to create an index on columns which are more frequently using in the table more frequently used in the table everybody is clear everybody is clear yes so what are the types of indexes types of indexes and unique and non unique unique and non unique unique okay so basically indexes are unique and non unique what is the unique index unique index means so the column does not accept duplicate value so the unique index means unique indexed column duplicate values so if you create an index on e name 
if you create a unique index on ename column so then we cannot have a duplicate values in the ename for example an ename column that means we cannot insert a duplicate values that's why unique values so the non unique mean it accept a duplicate values okay so one important point is again so the further classification of other indexes is a b3 index b3 index and third one is bitmap index and the fourth one is a function based index function based index so these are the types of an index so, so the b3 index is the default index the b3 index is default index okay and function based index is index on function index is index on function index on function r and expression index r function r and expression so we can create index on function r we can create a index on function based index or it's a function on this so what is the bitmap index we will see default index and b3 indexes okay so the unique are primary key now let's see so by default oracle creates Oracle creates an unique index on primary key columns. Primary key columns. So if you create a primary key on a table, so internally Oracle creates a unique index. Primary key column indexes and unique constraint columns. columns unique constraint columns if you already have a primary key on a particular column so we don't need to create an index again if you already have a primary key on a column so then we don't need to create a constraints on another column okay unique column also we don't need to recreate index again by default whenever you create a primary key on a table so oracle automatically creates a one index what type of index it is going to create full table scan sorry unique index okay and one thing is so always use indexed columns in the where condition otherwise no use of indexes always try to use indexed columns indexed means the columns on which index created indexed columns in where condition always try to use indexed column in the where condition for better performance okay if you are not using an index so never if you never use a column in a where condition so never ever create an index on that particular column okay we can create a single index on one column or more than one columns we can create an index on one column of a table table or on multiple columns on table so one column a simple index multiple columns index are called composite index so the composite things we can create a index on one column of a table 
or multiple columns and we can create a single index with multiple columns okay single column index are called simple index index and multiple columns index are called composite index composite index so the multiple columns index is called composite index single column index and multiple columns index so the single column index are called simple index multiple columns index is called a composite index okay so now we can see okay so when we can so the by default it creates an b3 index if it don't specify anything it creates a a b3 index so b3 index is more useful on columns which contains more number of unique values b3 index is very suitable on the columns which has high cardinality that means high more number of unique values unique values and bitmap indexes are more useful on columns on data warehousing applications on large databases databases with the databases are that is nothing but a data warehouses dwh the data warehouses where we are going to have only inserts not like a updates and everything so the bitmap indexes are more useful on large databases and using everything more useful on large databases okay on columns so which have less number of distinct values less number of distinctions so the bitmap indexes are more useful on large databases on columns which have a less number of uh, the distinct values so and the b3 indexes are more useful okay for example columns are here is employee number see here every employee has a unique number and the ssr okay and full name so each one has a different full name and here is example columns are department number the EPT number see I have a 14 rows in my department table but I have only three distinct values in the department 10 20 30 so the less number of distinct values department number and the gender column only male and female so the distinct values are very less male and female male are m r f so that means the less number of distinct values this is the very useful on the less number of distinct values column and here it is more number of distinct column okay everybody is it clear now sometimes even though if you have an index okay let's see how to create an index so the syntax create column 
this is a simple index. So create index index name on column name of table name. Okay. So now let's see. So we don't need to create indexes on primary key columns under unique constraint of columns because primary key and unique keys are automatically indexed. Automatically indexed. Create unique or bitmap index on index name on table name of column one comma column two. Okay, let's see. So we just create an index. But how can we check it? So whether Oracle is using an index or not. That is the important stuff. See, creating an index is a different story. Okay, we will create an index. So it automatically creates the index entry. So we cannot force, we can force the optimizer to use an index. But how can we check it? So whether the column is indexing or not, whether Oracle is using that column or not for the index. Okay, let's see. So now execution plan, explain plan. This is very important. Explain plan. It's a one of the tuning tool. Explain plan. We'll see the examples in the index while seeing this explain plan. So the explain plan is nothing but a series of steps. Okay. Used by Oracle for completion of the select statement execution. So the series of steps. Series of steps are operation operations okay so used by oracle for successful execution of your query so whenever you execute any query so whenever you execute any query whenever you select any operation so the plan execution plan is nothing but a explain plan is nothing but a so the series of steps used by oracle for successful execution of the query one second Okay, series of steps are operations used by Oracle for a successful execution of a query. So, Oracle is going to use. So, we can see. Okay, so let's see. So, select star, select star from employee. Okay, do we have any index in this state? Do we have any where clause in the statement? Do we have any where clause in the statement? No. Okay. So now that means we are getting all the rows. Okay, if you are getting all rows from a table. Okay, so which one is the better? Index scan is the better or full table scan is the better? If you are getting all rows from a table, which one is the better? Index scan is the better or Full table scan. So whenever you are getting a more number of rows, full table scan is better. Whenever you are getting more number of rows, so then FTS is better. Full table scan is better. Okay, first question. So the one important point you need to see is Okay, if you are getting more number of rows, full table scan is better. Okay, so now select star from DEPT. How many rows we have in this table? How many rows we have in this table? Four rows. So that means less number of rows. Okay, so which one is the better for less number of rows table? Full table scan or index scan? Index is not required because if you if you have only four rows, right? Why you need index in the four rows? If you have a 40 rows or 40 million rows, index is better. If you have only four rows, index is not recommended. On smaller table. On small table. Index is not recommended on small table. So we need to see. 
Okay, so now let's see. How can you see the explain plan, the syntax? Explain plan generates the series of steps, operation, performed by Oracle successful execution. But explain plan will not execute a complete query. Explain plan will not execute select statement. Select statement. And this is the data specific. So the data, current environment data. The plan generated in the development environment may be different than the plan generated on the production. Because production has a 1 million rows in our development environment, we might have like only 100k rows. That means the data, it depends on the explained plan, will not execute. It assumes, explained plan, it assumes the execution plan and displays it. It's mostly the explained plans will same, but sometimes it may differ in the production environment. Because that depends upon the amount of data. So how can you see the explain plan? Explain plan for set is equal to set statement ID syntax. ID is equal to any ID for select statement. Your select statement. So this is optional. This is optional. Let's see here. Okay, so explain plan. Explain plan, for example. Statement ID is optional. And explain plan for your select statement. Select star from e employee. Explain plan for select star from employee where employee number is equal to 7869. See here, these are the two select statements. So I'm generating the plan. So where this plan will store. So whenever you execute this statement, see here, explain plan is done. So the plan for succeed, that means executed, but where this plan stores. Okay, explain plan statement stores results in a plan underscore output table. Explain plan stores. plan underscore table plan table see here select star from plan table see here two statements two lines so you don't know which one executed first and which one executed next two steps are there this all for executing this statement oracle completed execution so generated the plan so it uses the two steps but which one is the first and which one is the next we can see okay so we can see the plan table so the tree structure can be done with the select star from table of dbms underscore x plan this is the predefined package display dbms underscore x plan dot display is the predefined Package dbms underscore x plan is a package dot display. It displays the details of your plan output in a tree structure format. Let's see here tree structure format. Okay, so which one is executed first in these two? So which one is executed first in these two? Select statement executed first or table access EMP executed first? By looking at this one, which one is executed first? Which one? Any guess? Select. Shravani is select. Any others? Any other guesses from other one? Select. Okay. So the first out of these two steps, which step is executed first is the most inner step. So out of these two, which one is the most inner? Table access full is the inner step. So this executed first table access full executed a first. So that means so the first EMP table is accessed with full table scan. 
what is the rows number of rows it written 11 rows it written so what are we going to see in the explain plan okay so the first thing we need to see is cost and then so the tables order of executions first which table is going to execute a first and the 10 how tables are accessed so what are the table access index related scan index scan or fts full table scan if it is a full table scan then try to create an let's see cost cost is always less than if a cost is more and more so then it's a problematic query so the cost includes the what is the cost means the total number of resources required for a complete execution of your query the total number of resources required for execution of a query so now let's see i'm explaining the plan for this statement plan sexy now i'm displaying it again see here this is the statement Okay, so now the cost reduced to 1. The total number of rows is 1. So what is the first executed is? First, it executed the index scan. First, it did index scan. From the index, it accessed the table access by index row ID. See here. So in the previous query, table access by full table scan. But here, table access by index row ID. So that means the fastest way of getting the data from an index or a table index row id so first it executed the index unique scan so then it accessed the table so then we got a final amount of data so the cost is reduced to one and the number of rows written is to one so this is the way of interpreting the explain plan i'm sure I'm sure everybody is understanding at least one or two points. And ename is equal to Scott. Let's see. I'm accessing with the ename is equal to Scott. Now I'm executing this query. I'm generating the plan. Plan succeed. Now display the data. See here table access full because we don't have index on ename column. If you say if your manager says Hi Karen, this query is executing more time. What can I see? So how can you improve the performance? Immediately generate the execution plan. First, let's see how the tables are accessing. So the tables are accessing the full table scan. So the first important. Okay, first important is full table scan. Yes, so full table scans are not good because the table is huge and we have a where condition. Okay, now what can we do? We can create an index on ename column. Then we can see the performance. Before creating an index directly, even though if you have an index, still table is taking the long time. So then we can see the statistics on the table is up to date or not. So go to the statistics and then see the last analyzed date. So the last analyzed date is 7 July. So here is 13th July. Those statistics are one week old. See the number of rows 11. And see the total number of rows in the table. See 11. So this 11 is the number of rows on this date at the time of statistics generation. Okay. So this 11, this number underscore rows is the number of rows on the table EMP at the this date analyzer date so this should match with your actual number of rows at current so if it is match that's fine if it is not matched and it has a huge difference between number of rows and actual number of rows then we can create a index okay so now our step is to create an index see here this is not good because it's doing the full table scan okay so now let's create an index create index i'm not creating unique index create index emp underscore ename underscore ind on emp of ename i'm creating an index so emp and so let's see the name so index created 
okay so now index created now let's see the explain plan again yes explain plan succeed now see the plan output see the observe carefully see here it's now the cost reduced to two it improved the performance earlier it was three so now the tables are doing index row id so index range scan so first it is using my index emp underscore ename underscore index because it is the innermost one innermost one executes first so the emp name end in end so then it access the table using index row id scan so now the query performance is improved everybody is create following under ki ardhamothunna ande this is very very important class say so this is not 100 for the even though these are the same steps what i am using in my office but try to get as much as possible okay so now let's see a okay so now this is the query i have written now i'm going to modify the query let's observe i have index on e name column i'm creating everything on only one example so then it makes you easy to understand okay so now this one so here i'm giving scott sc so now here i'm using upper upper up e name is equal to scott upper up e name is equal to scott now let's see, explain plan for select star from emp where upper of e name is equal to scott i'm using a plan generated i have index on e name column but i used the upper function plan generated now let's see the plan see still it is doing even though i have index on e name column but my oracle is not using an index why right i have index I created an index and e name column, but I'm strongly feeling that Oracle should use my index and e name, but it is not using Y. Okay, whenever you create an index on this one, Oracle creates indexes. Oracle creates indexes on values in the e name column as it is. But here we are transforming the indexed column values so whenever you do any please note down whenever you do any transformations or expressions on indexed columns in where where condition so then Oracle will not use that index. Will not use indexes on that column. Because we are doing some kind of transformations. We are doing some kind of transformation. Select a star from EMP where upper of E name is equal to Scott. Everybody is it clear? Yes or no, please. So what can I do? Index is not using, but I want to use this upper of e name all the times. Upper of e name all the times. So the one thing is I can modify the query like this. So one thing is I can modify a query like this. So instead of using upper on indexed column, so we can use lower on here. So we can do the opposite. So now Oracle will use this index. Okay, so now let's see the data. See now it is using an index because I did my transformations on other side. I did my transformations on other side. So now it is using index, but that is fine. But I want to use only this query all the time. I want to use this query all the time. So then what can I do? In these cases, if you really want to use a function on e name, function on column in a where condition, so then we can go with function based index.
function based index how to create a function based index create index emp underscore ename underscore fn underscore index so the function by index on emp of power of in so i'm storing in index itself i'm storing the upper of e name so index create now let's see this query okay this query so earlier it did not use because of this emp e name okay so now i'm changing this one so the plan succeed upper of e name if you see this so here now it is using emp e name underscore fn underscore index because i'm using this index on the time everybody is clear please yes or no please let me know yes only one yes okay we'll go, i'll explain the one more simple example Select start from EMP A, comma DAPT D, where A dot department number is equal to E dot department number. EMP A and the department D. I got the data. I got the data. So now let's see the explain plan for this join one. Explain plan for. Yes, so the plan succeed. Now let's see the data. I generated a plan for that query. So join query. See? Okay, so which one is executed first? Out of all these five steps, which one is executed first? Which one is executed first out of all these? Full table scan is executed first. Are 3 and 5 executed at the same time? Divya. Divya, which one is executed first in these two? Sravani, Shalini, Anila, which one is executed first in this, these five steps? Five, okay. But 5 and 3 are at the same indentation, right? 5 and 3 are at the same indentation. So then, okay, here in this plan, okay, step 3 and step 5 executed at the same time parallelly because those two are at the same indentation. Okay, same indentation. And here is the merge join and the sort join. Okay, let's see. So now one table, department table is accessing with index. An EMP table is accessing a full table scan. Then what can we do? We can improve this query performance by creating index on department table. Because we don't have index on the department table in the employee table. So now I'm creating an index. Create index EMP underscore. So DEPT number underscore IND on EMP of department. So index is created. So now let's see the cost is 6. Perfect. Now let's see the execute this explain plan. Perfect. So now let's see this query. Say so cost reduced to 5. And both tables are accessed with the index scan that's good we improve a little bit performance okay but still we can do more that's why create indexes on foreign key columns is the one important point and the next one is here it is doing the merge join and it is doing the sort join what are the types of joins types of joins in what i do Here we are doing the sort merge join. This 
this is not good sort my design is not good and nested loop join and third one is hash join this is good hash join is good so hash join is very useful on large tables and nested loop joins are useful on small tables and sort merge join is useful on join conditions with operator with non equal operator with non equal operator so these are the joins so we can force the see optimizer here it is using the merge join but we can force optimizer to use use nested loop join okay how to use a hint i will send you tomorrow i will send some other important not exactly tomorrow in next 2 3 days i will send some important notes on this index classes and this how to use the tunes and how to write a the best select statements okay everybody everybody is a clear place sir this is the just introduction only but don't say meer bite kelin tarata vinay garu maaku tuning cheppesaru maaku inta tuning ani matram nanu blame cheyadu this is the just introduction only ee topic ki nenu ila cheppaledu but procedures functions packages we are covered almost 90% but this tuning is that's only introduction okay everybody yes or no please so we can see this all the execution plans okay right now till now we have seen the execution plans using this functionality select start from table of explain display and everything but similarly see here explain plan f10 okay whenever you execute this query select this query and click f10 it's automatically it generates the execution plan itself see here it is executing explain plan also okay so this is also plan we can see it using the tool specific uh, utility so instead of writing explain plan and uh, select a statement to get the plan table output so we can simply select uh, this explain plan okay and then so this explain plan does not execute this query without execution it generates the execution plan so the actual execution plan the completely execute the correct execution plan will generate in some other tables those are dba specific tables the dynamic performance views so that is not scope of our class but if you have any doubts if you while reading if you come up with an, an a doubt or something you can call me at any time okay so the next tomorrow i will send a notes on hints so hints we always use a hints in this section in the select section here we will use the hints in this section hints is very important and explain plan notes and dbms underscore sql tune automatic tuning advisor i think i have already sent it but i will send it again automatic tuning advisor advisor topics okay this is the three important topics i will send them now so and and two other topics which you need to study on your own is materialized views materialized views this is very important and gtt global temporary tables global temp tables and table partitions please try to read table partition these three topics are important okay i will send the notes on these three topics also please go through it if you have any doubts and let me know okay everybody everybody is clear yes or no please i hope i'm done with the classes if you have any doubts at any point of time you can call me immediately